Hey everyone, here are a few useful extensions for Firefox and Chromium based browsers. Most of these extensions don't gather any of our information. One tab can save up to 95% memory and reduce tab clutter. Whenever you find yourself with too many tabs, click the icon to convert all of your tabs into a list. When you need to access the tabs again, you can either restore them individually or all at once. You can also check out the many options available here. Volume Master allows you to boost the volume up to 600%. However, keep in mind that at 600%, the volume will be quite high, so increase gradually. Picture in Picture allows you to watch videos in a floating window, always on top of other windows, so you can keep an eye on what you're watching while interacting with other sites or applications. There are two similar extensions, one by Google and the other is by pickinpick.net. Both are similar. The difference is Google's extension collects your user activity while the other doesn't collect our data. Also pickinpick.net's extension has hotkey functions with playback video controls. However, I think it's useless since these controls doesn't work when you leave the tab. URL render allows you to preview websites without having to click them. Simply move your mouse pointer over the link and the website will be previewed without creating a new tab. Dark Reader enables dark mode for every website. This is a really good extension. It reduces the harmful blue light from the browser. It doesn't show ads and doesn't send users data anywhere. It is fully open source. There are different options that you can try. Bitly allows you to shorten long URLs and create QR codes that you can share with anyone. You can also keep track of how many times the link has been clicked. Sometimes these URLs can be dangerous since we don't know the destination. It is advised to add plus to the end of the URL, which will display the destination URL. URL shortener is similar to Bitly. The differences are that Bitly requires an account to use and also it has a large user base. While URL shortener does not require any account sign ins, it have a larger number of URL providers. If you like this video like and share. If you want similar content subscribe. Thanks.